Now, Ebonyi State has pledged a speedy completion of College of Medicine, another ongoing project in the state. Uh, this, according to the state government, will help reduce medical tourism in the state. Joining us in the studio now to speak on the developmental strides of Governor Umahi in uh, Ebonyi State is the Commissioner for Information, Barrister Uchena Oji. Commissioner, it's good to have you with us. Thank you very much. All right, uh, as you've heard in the intro, um, tell us about this um, infrastructural strides that the government uh, is trying to achieve here, especially with the, the health sector. As a matter of fact, uh, the coming on board of our dear governor, His Excellency General Chief David Mwezumahi, is actually to address a lot of issues, critical issues of development in the Bonnie State. Okay. As we, we all know, Bonnie State before now was. Uh, you know, not a place that you can reckon with. Mm. So health was one of the issues, education, human capital development infrastructure. These are cardinal five-fold covenants mm. that he decided to really address squarely. In the area of health, apart from all the facilities he created, the primary health care facilities, the general hospitals, talking about the secondary health care facilities, mm. he thinks that the tertiary health care facilities must be very, very robust in such a way and manner as to address all the critical health issues, you know, that uh, are facing uh, the Nigerian population. Mm -hmm. And so the College of Medicine is one of the concepts that he did introduce. Mm -hmm. This College of Medicine, as it were, is one of the biggest medical facilities in Africa. Of course, it has a center of excellence for the treatment of Lassa, I mean, uh, um, kidney, yeah. um, even heart diseases, including heart transplant, kidney transplant, Especially and even liver problems. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, one thing that is special about this uh, center of excellence is that it has a center for dialysis, mm. a for, dialysis for production of dialysis. Yeah. And this is going to be the only in the whole of Africa. But you need to really appreciate the edifice. Very wonderful, very massive. I can tell you that it's not up to three years that the man started this massive construction of uh, College of Medicine, mm. which he says that it's going to be the biggest in Africa when fully completed. And the idea of the governor is that the, 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 the management be run in such a way and manner that it will be self-sustaining, mm. it will be generating revenue, creating jobs. We are looking at 10,000 number of jobs that it will create, mm. and it will also bring about a lot of wealth creation, you know, ancillary value chain activities working around it. Now, one thing that is very important is that the governor is looking at getting expatriates to really start off the management because of how critical you know, the issues are. And that we are looking at making a boy state the medical tourism of uh, the country such right. that it, it, you are, don't have to go to any other place it, than to come it, to it, a boy state. Indeed, and that's, that's a very germane issue you just mentioned there. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we haven't uh, actually seen much uh, headway in this part of the world. Now, we can't talk about building infrastructure uh, without mentioning internally generated revenue. So what's the scenario like in your state? Are you still heavily dependent on what comes uh, from the federal uh, treasury or there's something else here? Yeah, these are the challenges that the governor did inherit when he came about. Our revenue generation index is at the bottom. But what did he do differently to really ensure that we enhance the revenue generation propensity? Mm -hmm. He had to embark on aggressive construction of economic facilities, commercial facilities. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting that before can he you, can you give that, us an example of this? Yeah, uh, for instance, facilities? the governor had to construct Africa's biggest shopping mall, okay. better than any, bigger than any shopping mall in, uh, in anywhere in Africa. Well, I have to quote Mr. Bruce, <laughs> Mr. Bruce of Silverberg. Okay. He came and quoted so. All right. And now this is going to have about 5,000 number shops, modern shops, it's all the facilities around it. Mm. We have international market that is the biggest in Southeast, one of the most beautiful in the whole of the Federation. And it's located along the Trans-Sahara Highway leading towards uh, Camero from mm -hmm. Cross River. We also have major critical facilities, including flyovers. Mm -hmm. What is intended is that it will attract investors so that over a period of 100, 100 years, you can be sure that your investment is protected. Mm -hmm. We are having a total number of 13 number flyovers, mm -hmm. big flyovers, making a boy in the highest state, the state with the highest number of flyovers mm -hmm. after Lagos and Abuja. <laughs> Could you imagine? Now, apart from this, 
this uh, medical uh, college is going to attract no less than 10,000 number jobs. Okay. That way we are going to generate revenue. Now, I have to also say that we are doing a lot to tap into our potentials in agriculture. We therefore had to commercialize our agriculture. So we introduced what we call mechanization of agriculture, mm. commercialization of agriculture. What do we do? We did one man, one hectare. If you're a civil servant, a public servant, private sector person, you must have, mm. you know, one hectare. If you must have any advantage, any uh, something to do with mm. state government. And that has really increased in the revenue profile of our state by of making for self-reliance, self-sufficient right. and all of that. Now, the issue of human capital development, mm -hmm. in order to drive the private sector businesses, we have done a lot to increase the human capital. So these are the things the government is doing. Mm. Now, I have to also mention that we have done a lot in the area of education. We are having what is called vocational college, okay. looking at tapping into the potentials of the artisans, the craftsmen, the technicians, giving them capacity, giving them training and certification, and also giving them empowerment, financial empowerment after all, all right. in order for them to really enhance their potentials in business. Very good. Uh, uh, Commissioner Oji, I'll just like you on a final note now, briefly. The governor, David Umahi, is an engineer. So is this rubbing off positively you know, on the spate of infrastructure since he assumed the office? As a matter of fact, one would be tempted to say, let an engineer be governor, <laughs> let an engineer be a president. In a bony state, we had no infrastructure, we had no road. But today, the governor has connected the entire nooks and crannies of the state with what? Concrete pavement, concrete based road that has eight inches. A novel that no any other state or government has done in Nigeria. I think Dangote is doing it in Lagos, the Apapa Road. That's what is being done in every road. We are having about 1,500 number state road, concrete road kilometer I'm talking about. Now, federal uh, government road or federal road, we are having about 800 plus kilometer road that government did, this current governor did. The secret, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you that today, but state is a global village. Once you enter a boy, some people will say, once you enter a boy, you can be sure you will feel you are in another world. Mm. And that is because he's an engineer. It does rub off, I tell you. And he's, pros he's precise, concise, prudent. Quality assurance is second to, to none. His monitoring and evaluation process is something that you cannot reckon with. Every day and night he's working. Everything about him is calculation. And he knows virtually everything. And that has really helped a boy instead, you know. Indeed. And of course, uh, the people will be uh, expecting more from him, regardless of uh, what we've seen so far. You know, that's just the nature of politics for you. Uh, Barrister Uchena Oji, Commissioner for Information, Ibo State, I'd like to thank you for your presence here and uh, wish you more. Thank, thank you. you very much.